if you're new to research and have just started writing research papers, articles, case studies, then this video is just meant for you, wherein you can learn how to write references using MS Word. So before learning how to add references and in-text citation in our research work, we also should know what are references and in-text citation. References are used to acknowledge and provide details about the source of information that has been used in the writing. For example, if you have read an article in a journal and wish to include some information in your research work, then you must give due acknowledgement to the author. Citing reputed and good work also adds to the quality of your research work. References normally contains information like name of the author, title of the paper or the article, publication date, publisher, etc. References are typically placed at the end of a paper in a reference list or a bibliography. So now what is in-text citation? In-text citation is a reference to a source of information such as a book, article, website or other piece of evidence that is used to support an idea or an argument. Citation is used in academic and professional writing to give credit to the original authors of the information and to allow readers to track down the sources. Here you can see that an article by Mr. Das have been cited in the research work. Details of the article like title, date, publisher, etc. have been provided in the reference section and the in-text citation is within the body of the research work. So to write the references, first of all, you have to open the document in which you want to include the references. As you can see in this document, there is information about Walmart's entry in India, which needs to be cited. And this is the news article, which was referred to while writing the paper, and it needs to be cited in the research work. To cite the newspaper article you saw in the last slide, you have to put the cursor at the location in your document where you want to insert the citation. In the MS Word menu, go to the References tab at the top of the page. You can see the References tab in the red box on the screen. After you click on the Reference tab, a drop-down menu will appear. First of all, from the drop-down menu, you can choose the appropriate citation style for your research work. After selecting the reference style, we will learn how to do in-text citation. So in the reference tab, you will find an option like insert new source or add citation. Click on insert new source or a similar option. After clicking on insert new source, a dialog box will appear where you can input the details of the source of information and also other details like name of the author, title, publication, date, URL, etc. First of all, we will select the source. In this case, we are citing a newspaper article available online. So our source is a website. After selecting the source, we will fill in the other information. Entire process will become more clear through this example. As you can see that the first field in the citation box is name of the author. So names of the author from the news article can be put in this field. Next field in the citation box is name of web page. So corresponding information from news article can be added there. Name of website is the next field. So routers can be added in this field. Next year, month and date is to be added. Lastly, the URL has to be placed in the corresponding field. After entering the necessary information, click OK or add to save the source. The citation will be added in the document at the desired location. You can see here that the statement for Walmart's entry in India, we have referred to an article by Krishnan and Patnagar. After completing your paper, go to the end of your document or go to the place where reference or works cited is to be added. In the reference tab, click on bibliography or works cited depending upon your citation style. Click on bibliography, references, or work cited, depending upon your citation style, and select the appropriate category. I selected references here. You can also note that references are specific citations used within the text to support argument, whereas bibliography provide a comprehensive list of all source consulted. MS Word will automatically generate the references, bibliography, or work cited list based on the source you cited in your document. In case you need to edit, you can click on the citation and then click on the down arrow button 
and then click on added source to edit the citation. Same dialog box will appear and you can make changes and then click on OK. You can add more citation in a similar manner. After adding more citation, go to the bottom of the page where references were added in step 11 and click on any of the reference and then click on update citations and bibliography. MS Word will automatically update the bibliography or work cited list. In a similar manner, you can cite the information you would have taken from other sources like books, journal article, conference proceeding, report, etc. So congratulations, you have learned how to cite your work. So keep on learning and keep on publishing quality research. So thank you for your time and you can connect with me at alkambya at gmail.com. Thank you.